Hi guys! I'm going to show you today a, a quick power tip for Maca, which is how to vertically center an element inside another element. And so for example you can use it to vertically center text inside another element. And there are three ways to do it. Let's start by first one. Let's draw an element and a text. Okay. okay, that's fine. So the first way to do it is to manually center that element. Because, you know, why not? Uh, what you want to make sure is to delete, set the height of the text area to auto uh, and delete all the minimum height so you got nice clean element uh, to align it. And also let's, uh, let's just align the text. Okay, so you choose those two elements and you simply simply use that, which is align vertical centers. After you do that, you can just move the element inside the parent element. And this is be because you, you won't be able to align it uh, or to select that parent element now if you're inside uh, the parent element. You've got only one element selected and it's not possible to uh, align them. So we want to align them outside and then move the element inside. Okay, so that's one way to do it. The second way to vertically center an element inside another one is to use absolute vertical centering. And let me show you how to do it. Let's duplicate that element. Let's choose another background color and let's just fix that text. So this will be absolute vertical centering. So what you want to do now is you want to choose that con containing element which you want to have uh, centered vertically and let's just move it a bit up so you see that it will be vertically centered. Now you want to set the position to absolute and you need to set the origin to middle, the Y origin. And just like that it's vertically centered inside that element. Now the thing uh, which you want to look out for is, and it will be visible if I deselect that element and select it again, please notice that the height of that element has been populated and if you choose auto again it, everything will be a mess. So what you need to do is to set that to pixels and that was around 22 pixels I believe. That's why you need to check the rendered height. Uh, okay, so that's a second way in which you can vertically center an element in another element. Okay, the third and the last method which I know of on how to center an element vertically is to use paddings. Let's, let's choose a nice background color for that one so you can see easily. Let's adjust the text as well, so it will be vertical centering with paddings. And now an important thing. First you want to set that element, that parent element's height to auto. And also to, for it to work well, you need to make sure that this element which is inside, uh, that its margin, margin counted from top 
is equal to zero. And may maybe I will show you a quick example why it's important. Uh, if I if I adjust the paddings and notice that I used shift when clicking, so now I can adjust both top and bottom padding for the parent container. As you can see, it's not exactly what I what I was looking for. And now if I set the top margin to zero, you can see that top and bottom paddings are equal. Okay, and let's let's publish. And as you can see, those three elements are are all perfectly vertically centered inside their parent elements. I hope uh, that it's useful to you guys. And if you have any questions, uh, just let me know in the comments. Thanks and bye bye.